The yeas are 220. The nays are 215. The bill is passed. Getting health care reform through the House was easy compared to the Senate, where Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid faces a Republican filibuster at every turn. But at its core, this bill would also lead to higher premiums, higher taxes, and massive cuts to Medicare to fund new government programs. On top of that, the president wants quick action from the normally slow-moving Senate. We're looking at one target, which is end of the year. I don't want to define exactly what the end of the year is, but the president believes that he will be signing a bill by the end of this year. The government health insurance plan that is the linchpin of the House bill is opposed by key Senate moderates. And while Reid says he will propose a public option with an opt-out for states, he'll have to see what can get enough votes to break a filibuster. So there's going to have to be uh, a public option that's either far different from the one that passed in the House or maybe no public option at all and fight that fight later. There are other differences as well. The House requires employers to provide health insurance. The Senate doesn't. The House raises taxes on people making more than $500,000 a year. The Senate bill has a variety of taxes and fees, including a tax on so-called Cadillac insurance plans. You're going to see cost issue. You're going to see the fact that the government's playing an expanded role in health care decisions. You're going to see abortion. You're going to see immigration. It's all on the floor, and we'll see what package they can come up and get 60 votes on. Making Majority Leader Reid's challenge much tougher is the fact that he doesn't know how much the various options he is considering will cost. The Congressional Budget Office has yet to give him that information. And on top of that, the upcoming holidays will cut into the legislative calendar. Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.